uh, hello, I'm Audrey Tang. I come from the future. Uh, and uh, uh, Taiwan is a place that is six hours in the future. So I come from that place. And uh, we have a movement there called GovZero where we fork the government. Just a couple of weeks ago in the GovZero summit where we have 15 uh, different countries, places, regions of, of movements uh, all gathering in Taipei, I think what got uh, most people's attention was that uh, the Madrid, both the now city officials and also the civil society are telling the, the same story, of course, from two uh, different sides, but they are a very coherent story and is a very strong story that uh, motivates uh, everybody in Taiwan. Because in Taiwan, we also have a very large Occupy movement that results in the crumbling of the ruling party and some new parties uh, appearing, but most importantly, that people finally feel that they could decide uh, their lives together and it's very important for us to to be remembered that we're not alone this is not happening because Taiwan is a lone island on the Pacific uh, Ocean but also somewhere in us something very much like this is also happening and so this is the sense that I want to get back uh, to to the people in Taiwan but also get across uh, to the globe that's the connection I like to make uh, in Taiwan we were uh, in a pretty unique position because uh, currently our uh, Prime Minister or Premier uh, is uh, not affiliated with any party. And the outgoing Premier, the Premier before him, was also uh, independent. And our capital's mayor is also independent. And our Vice President also independent. So basically, we, we have this uh, policy first and like no party uh, place or post-party place in Taiwan. So we're very free to explore all sorts of different tools that first uh, makes th things transparent things like uh, the standard uh, say it tools from my society that we use to make all the transcripts of the administration, not just the legislation, <coughs> uh, visible and accountable uh, for all the meetings. And we also use other free software like the Sandstorm uh, toolkit or the either calc or um, uh, either pad and, and things like that that captures uh, people's collective uh, knowledge together and bring people in the same page. And we also built this collective bookmarking system called Hack Folder uh, that let people share their bookmarks, but also in a crowdsourced fashion. And we also use the open source tool Polis uh, to gather people's sentiment and show the consensus. For example, what's the consensus that accepted by all the Uber drivers and taxi drivers and Uber passengers and other passengers on the idea of this kind of sharing economy taxi, which was uh, just ratified uh, into the law. I come from the future, so <laughs> it's already happened for me, uh, because the, the future is just not evenly distributed. Currently in, in Taiwan, uh, in the GovZero uh, movement, we have actually uh, Liz Barry, for example, uh, who is from, from New York, and she doesn't even speak uh, Chinese, but she came to Taiwan for a couple of times and built strong connections, and we deployed this automatic translation systems that whenever people type anything in the public Slack or Telegram or Freenode or any of those communication channels, they get automatically translated to English uh, for, for Liz and then she can type back and, and things like that. So with uh, automated uh, translation tools, with this distributed uh, cognition tools, I think we will be able to culturally uh, share. Currently, what we can share is on the uh, process and the tools that enable the process. We cannot really share on the policy level because while the uh, agenda or the consensus about Uber may look very reasonable to, to Spain or to Paris, the actual uh, cultural climate is actually different. It's very hard to translate. And when we have new tools, new social tools like virtual reality that makes this kind of translation very natural, even easier than meeting face to face, then we can have the same uh, synchronicity. And I've been living that for, for months now. So um, to me, it's already happened.